I'm going to attempt the Nesta 10,000 stair challenge. I know this was a big trend a few years ago and so I'm really late to it, but better late than never. If you are unfamiliar, if you're watching this video, you probably are familiar, but if you're not, in the Akatar series in A Court of Silver Flames, one of the characters, Nesta, climbs up 10,000 stairs. And so the challenge is to get to 10,000 steps on a Stairmaster. So that's what I'm going to be attempting today. I've only trained once and that was, I think over a month ago and I got to around 2000 steps in 45 minutes cause that's all the time I had. So we'll see how today goes. I've seen people complete it in two and a half to three and a half hours. That kind of seems to be the average. That's a really long time to be on a Stairmaster. I usually go for four to five minutes to an hour, somewhere around there. So yeah, we're just gonna have to see how it goes. My gym is kind of small and they only have two Stairmaster machines. I'm not sure what kind of actual footage I'm going to get from today. I'm gonna try to get what I can. If there are people around me though, I'm not gonna be recording because I don't want to be disrespectful and I want to obey the rules. However, if it's just me, because I am going after the lunch rush, it's usually pretty dead at this time. So if it is just me around, I'll try and sneak some video. I'm pretty scared but I haven't worked out my legs in a while, so they're feeling fresh and I'm feeling good. Um, I think if I get to 7,500, then I'll call this a success. I have my phone, obviously, and earbuds um, to listen to music or an audiobook. I also am bringing my Kindle so I can read. I have a towel for the sweat. I have my water bottle and I'm gonna get an electrolyte drink to put in here and probably a snack of some kind. I should also clarify how I'm calculating this. So the actual machines at my gym don't count individual steps, they just go by floors. But per the Techno Gym Google search that I conducted, one floor is equal to 16 steps. So if you do the math, 10,000 steps would equal 625 floors. So that's really the benchmark we're going for is 625 floors. We'll see. I made it to the gym. I'm about to go in. Like I said, I make no promises on the recording gonna do my best um i went to the shop at and i got some snacks i got a protein bar i got a energy waffle and then i got a um electrolyte drink for my water bottle thankfully one of the machines was available the other one was actually broken so i'm very thankful that this one was working and available i warmed up a level four for a while and then cranked it up got to 105 floors in 30 minutes and then accidentally hit the cancel button instead of pause when I went to get my water bottle. So I had to restart it. Here I am restarting it. And that's when I decided to break out my Kindle. So I was getting pretty tired by this time, but after a while, I feel like you just go into overdrive. At one hour, it did automatically shut off. So that was another 183 floors. So I had to restart it again. Seven minutes later at 23.8 more floors, I hit 5,000 steps. And let me tell you, it may be five degrees outside, but the snow after a hard workout feels so good. Okay, so I did half. Technically I failed. I did exactly half. I think tomorrow, I'll come back and do the second half. That way I can at least say I did all 10,000 and that I didn't just completely give up and fail. I could have kept going physically, but after an hour and a half, I was over it. <laughs> so props to y'all for doing it all in one go. I think I'll try again tomorrow. Here are my stats though. Hour and 23 minutes. I'm interrupting the stair challenge with another challenge in its own right, which is running in snowy conditions. If you don't know, I live in a place where it's very cold and snowy. Yesterday it was negative 18 and it's only the beginning of November. I love to run, but I hate to run on treadmills. So I thought I would take advantage of our 11 degree day today and get in a run outdoors. I'm trying to run consistently this winter, but the wintering conditions are already making things difficult. So I told myself anytime it's relatively warm outside that I would try to run. I ran a half marathon back in the beginning of October and I actually worked with a running coach for that race. It was my first time ever working with a running coach, but I'm really glad I did because it turned out really well. So coach Nick at Full Speed Running reached out to me because he had seen some of my other running videos and he was wondering if I had ever worked with a running coach. And I, and I naively thought that only professional athletes, professional runners, those types of people were the people who worked with running coaches. I didn't think 
normal people like myself, people who run slowly like myself, would ever work with a run coach, but I was pleasantly surprised. So I started working with Nick and honestly, one of my favorite aspects was that I didn't have to create the training plan. We met and we went over my experience with running in the past and my goals and hopes for the half marathon. And then based on all of that, he created my own personal 12 week training plan. He didn't judge my slow pace, which is very important to me. He just wanted to make sure that the training plan was going to work for me, no matter the pace. We had regular check-ins and I was able to log each and every one of my runs so he could see how I was doing or I could voice any concerns, meaning he was able to tailor the plan to whatever I needed. The added bonus was that it was really nice to have someone cheering me on and someone to get my butt off the couch and motivate me on days when I didn't want to run. Now that I can somewhat feel my hands in my face, where was I? So I ended up running that half marathon at exactly the pace that we had set for me and exactly the time that I wanted. And if that's not proof enough that the training plan worked, then I don't know what is. I've been running at pretty much the same pace for the last five years and I've been really wanting to get faster and increase my endurance and I wasn't really sure how to do that, but I can say that after this training plan, after those 12 weeks, I was running faster and I was running more confidently in my race. And I was really, really proud of myself with the time that I accomplished because it was exactly what we had planned. So whether you're brand new to running, you've run 50 marathons or you're somewhere in the middle like me, Coach Dick has a wide variety of training plans on his website and I cannot recommend him enough. And of course it can be virtual. He and I are across the country from each other, for example, he would just send over the training plan and then I'd log everything electronically. So if you're interested, I'll link all of his information below and you can use code KD15 for 15% off any of his training plans. So if you wanna go over there, check it out. You won't regret it. Okay, enough yapping. Let's get back to the stair challenge. I just made it to the gym. If I look tired, it's because I am. I'm tired, my legs are tired, but I said I was gonna do 10,000 steps. So that's what I'm gonna do. We'll see if I can beat my time from yesterday, but I'm not very hopeful. Okay, so I was only able to do an hour. I did a little over half of what I needed to do today, but only one of them was working this morning and I saw two different people come up the stairs look right at me and then walk right back down the stairs. So clearly they wanted the machine. Um, and I was at about like 40 minutes when that kind of happened. So I decided to just go to an hour and then get off. So hopefully now they can, you know, get on it. But so I ended up doing a little over 2,700 steps, um, which would bring my total to almost 8,000, like 7,800, something like that. So all in all, not too bad. I'm gonna call this a win. I don't wanna hog the machine, you know? I'm just gonna call this a win. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. What do you think? Are we gonna classify this as a win or a fail? It was a fail in the sense that I didn't get to 10,000 steps, but it was a win in the sense that I got the majority done and I tried. If I were to do this in the future, I definitely would need to practice more, not practice, but build up to 10,000 steps. I am really happy with the 7,800 or so that I got. So I don't know, let me know. I know technically it's a fail, but can we count it as a win in some ways? Let me know. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, don't forget that you can use code KD15 to work with Coach Nick. I'll leave all of his information below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.